Attend the tale of Sweeney Todd. Attend the tale of Sweeney Todd. He served a dog in a vengeful god. He served a dog in a vengeful god. What happened then? Well, that's the play. If you wouldn't want us to do it, babe. Not Sweeney. Not Sweeney Todd. I'm Joanna Meyer, stage manager for the LaGrange College production of Sweeney Todd. After weeks and weeks of rehearsals, rehearsals, and more rehearsals, we think we're ready to bring you a strange but tasty treat. LaGrange College presents... Um, I've, I've always loved Sweeney Todd. It's one of my favorite musicals because it's just, you know, it's, it's a musical, but at the same time it just sucks everybody in and gains your interest, you know, because it's, it's dark and it's, and it's twisted and, I mean, once you think you know what's going on, it's really not. And... Sweeney Todd is based on a British urban legend about a barber who avenges the death of his wife with the tools of his trade. The tale of Sweeney Todd has been told and retold many times in print, in the movies and on stage. Stephen Sondheim's musical version premiered on Broadway in 1979 and was an instant hit, eventually running over 570 performances. Angela Lansbury played Mrs. Lovett in the original production. In the past 30 plus years, the Sondheim musical has been revived twice on Broadway, adapted into a film starring Johnny Depp, and has become a staple of community theaters and summer stock. It's two friends who've known each other for many, many years and love this play and love playing with it. It was in a summer stock production of Sweeney Todd at the Paper Mill Theater in New Hampshire that the chairman of LaGrange College Theater Department, Kim Barber Knoll, met New York City director Matthew Stewart. And the thing about bringing Matthew in is that I cannot imagine, there is nobody else. There is nobody else who loves working with young, actors at every level who can get as much out of them. It is a really difficult, extremely challenging piece, but to pull it off and pull it off well, it takes, I think, a director who is a really great storyteller, but cares about working with young, about to become, graduating to become, this sort of as part of what they want to do with their lives. So I knew it had to be Matthew. <laughs> I want you to really work on the diction and the words. Okay. So you're a big, major salesperson. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Okay? Okay. I'm Joseph Thomas. I am a senior at the Grange College Theater major, Spanish minor. He's this simple-minded young lad. He works for the Barber Pirelli, which is Sweeney Todd's competition, trying to, you know, sell his elixir and do a good job for him. Rub a minute, stimulate it in it. Soon you'll have to thin it once a week. Because director Matthew Stewart's schedule allowed him only two weeks to get the LaGrange College production of Sweeney Todd up and running, the show was cast in one day. I am a little tense inside, but the best thing to do is just to talk and relax and just get your mind off it. Just trying out, hoping to get in it. It's one of those things, you know, oh, did that in college. So. I would just like to be like a Towns member or whatever, whatever I can get, because I love musicals, I love them. I'm auditioning for the part of Joanna, um, so the competition is intense, but um, Joanna is Sweeney Todd's daughter, and um, she's been raised by Judge Turpin, and he's kind of the villain in the story. And um, anyway, she's been kind of held captive and locked away, and Judge Turpin actually wants to marry her. Everybody gather. 
Okay. <laughs> so here's what we'll do. We're just going to come in. You're each going to do the stuff you've prepared. We're going to go boom, boom, boom right through it. You know, it's a really, really fun show. It's a, it's a murder mystery, you know, mm -hmm. to scare the audience. <laughs> so that's really what you need to think about. It's just really having tons of fun and think about Halloween and tricking people. And that's really the spirit of the play. I didn't do as good as I thought I would. I think I did really well. Um, I think that it definitely helped that I was the first one to go. <laughs> so, because then you don't have to worry about you know how many people have done the exact same song before me. So I think that it worked out really well. The British monologue went very well. Uh, I was hilarious. <laughs> and um, the song was all right. Messed up on the song a little bit, but it's whatever. <laughs> I think my monologue went better than my song, but we'll see, I guess. I think the song went better than the monologue. Yeah. It was so good. Your so good. your parents, I think? I just tell them how great I did. <laughs> if there were hundreds of people auditioning, we would be much more ruthless. You two stay, the rest of you go. That's not our job right now. Here's these people, they're 18, they're, they're excited about this idea. So give them a chance to, um, you know, to kind of fulfill their dreams and go for it. And if you do it that way, instead of the cutthroat way, they'll surprise you. They'll surprise yeah. you all the time. You, you, you just get astonished at what the right director, the right company can bring out in student performers. Yeah. And it's also something to be able to say, we have the students who could pull this off at this time. That is incredible, I think, like Matthew said, for a college to do a, a really great Sweeney Todd. Yeah. With the cast assembled, rehearsals began. 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day for 13 days. Yeah, just spit it out like that, because then they can react. Over here, boy, how about some Let, Let me have, have another, another laddie. Laddie. So good, perfect. That was great. That was great. Don't anybody touch anything on the table until you're all seated. I mean, I'm a singer, but I don't read music. I can't read music. I'm like, there's a lot of music majors in here, and they can get something right then. And I'm like, 
I don't know that note. So it's kind of difficult for me, but it actually has helped me because in the script, it has the notes and the music. And I've learned a lot. Like I, I just catch on to things. I think everybody's um, getting used to it. And it's just, yeah, you think it's another day. Like it just goes by so fast. You think we've been here for weeks, but it's only been days. I loved that because that was like my first summer stock experience and we just, you know, all day, every day, learning our blocking, going over the music and stuff and you're just immersed with everything. I really loved that because I, I love the rehearsal process just as much as performing, so that was wonderful for me. Like, I'd love to do it all day long. Well, this marathon is, it's been very intense. It's, it's, I'm finding out that it's, it's doable. It's just, um, it's just a little hard to do. It's just, it's more of a, it's just that sprint. So you got to be, you know, you got to do it all quicker and just really just make, you know, make it work for you much faster. So it's just basically just disciplining yourself enough. And I feel like everybody is coming at it really well, you know, well prepared. How do you have a smell not clean? That's about Get to be a habit. Well, I'm not a singer, so it's it's definitely been a challenge. This is the first role I've ever had where I've had to really sing. So I have to I have to put that nervousness aside and say, okay, I have to be in you know, be prepared, be in control and just work this scene so everybody can follow along. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't imagine the rapture in store just inside of this door. Mm -hmm. That's what we're gonna work on. The most difficult challenge facing the cast members, young and old, was mastering of the difficult, very dissident score. Ready? Just taking it easy and go. This was no sound of music. The process of set design, um, with any process involved in theater, the first thing you do is read the script. Then you read it again, and you read it again. Uh, and once you have a firm understanding of the pieces that make the play, then you start asking yourself questions about the environment. Uh, what are the director's thoughts on the environment for the play? Uh, what are the needs of the actors? What are the needs of the other designers? And you take all of these components and you start filtering it down into what the design wants to be. Okay. Or you can dip your brush in a little water and just kind of not rush it in but just kind of lay it on it. top and it'll pull. Okay. It's, it's, it's necessary to bring in outside professionals to work with our students. If all our students are exposed to are the four or five faculty members that work here, they're going to get a very narrow picture of what's waiting for them out in the real world. Uh, so by bringing in outside individuals, uh, it helps challenge those of us who work here and may get set into our, our patterns that work for us here. And it also exposes them to uh, other ideas and philosophies, which is hugely important. Hi. Hi, Robbie. Hi, Robbie. How are you? Doing well. How are you Good. all? Good. <laughs> did you prepare some stuff? I did. I have uh, a monologue and a brief song. You know, it's, it's essentially that simple. I mean, I am the captain of my ship. I run my ship. No one can crawl in my ship unless they have permission. So I just... <laughs> I'm forgiven. You know? <laughs> you know, it's... <laughs> it's really as simple as that. You know? You are your own priest. You're your own leader. You're your own captain. You know? You run your own show. A lot of people know that. Thank you. Okay. Deep, deep in the 
silence. Please try to hear me. I'm sorry, can I start over on the correct note? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Deep, deep in the silence, please try to hear me. Um, so I grew up in, in Marietta, a suburb of Atlanta. Um, and I've done theater basically my whole life. I started when I was in like first grade. Um, and throughout high school, I did like six productions a year. I would do summer stock stuff, and then I would do like four shows with my school. Um, and then I went to Emory for college. Um, and Emory has a lot of really cool opportunities. Uh, they have an equity theater company in residence, so I did a lot of equity productions. But they also have a very active um, student theater community. Um, so I did a whole lot of straight and musical theater there. Um, I did things from Strindberg's Miss Julie to I just did Rent um, recently before graduating. Okay, we're good. Is completely nuts. And I just want you know. to say the first time we did it, like the first run through, Matthew called me over and he said, he didn't say it in front of everybody, thank you. He called me over and said, you know, she's just, she's just not crazy enough. I said, okay. <laughs> and after that run through, he's like, okay, I'm the crazy. Let's you not know, go any further. I mean, your first, her first number, she's smashing bread and <laughs> chopping things and killing flies. And you're like, whoa. And just, you know, flour going all over. Matthew Stewart returned to New York City, Professor Knoll took over, instituting a three times a week rehearsal schedule once classes began. When you are in this room, you have to be ready and you have to be on. No standing out in the wings. If there is a scene going on right here between Anthony and Joanna, do not stand in one. This is one, that's two, and the last is three. Whenever there's a scene playing down center, never, ever, ever stand in the wings. If you're going to make an entrance, no problem. Stand way back and get ready to make one scene was playing downstage, I think it was Dr. Anderson and somebody, and somebody was standing right here doing this. It's such a no. It's such a no. It's really distracting. It's distracting to them, and you have a tendency to whisper so, so much. So no, we are taking no prisoners tonight, okay? We are working the dickens out of Act 1. If something doesn't make sense, if something doesn't feel right, we are stopping. But we're not going to get all hung up, all hung up in coaching, coaching, coaching. I may run a sequence. Give you a few notes, check in with Celeste, check in with Mrs. Ogle, go back and run the sequence. Our goal is to get through Act One and feel ready for another run. Does that make sense? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. We're places for the top of the show. Thanks. Thanks. You want to take the pit down? Sweetie was subtle, sweetie would blink and grass would scuttle. Sweetie was 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 sweet
Oh, Mary, 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 Mary,